favorite venues. It's a whiskey and cocktail bar and I frequent it very often. I'm actually performing here tonight and there's a little songwriters event going on, which I'm super excited about. So I'm here with Tiana. Hey, how you going? Good, thank you. Cool. And she's making me a little delicious cocktail. Yes. What are you making? A bit of everything. It's going to be nice and dark, of course. Like my heart and soul. We're going to burn some shit. Yeah? Yes, we are going to set fire to the bar. Love it. Hopefully not the venue. <laughs> Yeah, she is blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's only purple eventually. I've actually never ordered off the menu here, so I just say, give me something sweet, give me something dark, and yeah, they improvise, and it's delicious every single time. <laughs> Can't wait to try this. <laughs> now, how sweet would you like it? Super sweet. Like super sweet? Super sweet, yeah. Like, like child sweet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's definitely yes. I felt the difference. In that. <laughs> oh, I love that color. So tonight I'm going to be talking to you guys about a whole bunch of updates. I've got sample photos of the Danny Divine handbag. In the last podcast, it was still being made, but I've actually seen the photos this time. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I, I absolutely love Danny's reaction to it when I sent it to her. She's like, oh my god, this is our love child. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what it is. So it blew my mind. I have found a really, really nice fluoro green and a purple as well um, for the interior. So they're now available in five colors. So that's on the website. And there is a no spiked version. I may have mentioned that already. It looks like we're finished. <gasps> Almost. Almost. I'm so impatient. Do you like orange? I do. Black and orange, yes. Look at this! It's a work of fucking art. Can I do the fire? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, cool. I didn't think they were gonna let me. <laughs> That's terrific. Wow, that is amazing. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Only way to serve a cocktail, hey? To make it look like it came straight from hell. Mm. Delicious. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Have a good night. All right, let's start the podcast. I've just sat down at my little booth looking at my notes for today's podcast. And we're going to start with something that I'm really excited about. So I've met a lot of lovely people, one of which is Luke, who's helping me with the podcast right now, a cinematographer. But I've also met a DJ who's going to help me out with my video clips. And he's really into lighting design. He studies like Shrillex and shit like that. It just blew my mind that I've come in contact with so many people that are helping me out with my music. It's amazing. So he came over the other day and he's got these smoke machines and he's actually going to sync the lighting to the video clip, which is super fucking exciting because everything is getting way more professional than I ever thought I would be able to achieve for my first or second single. So that is utterly amazing. He's putting that together now and I'm going to be able to view it on the laptop and watch the whole song and see what he's designed and everything before we actually do it. God bless technology, hey? That's absolutely fucking amazing. The smoke mixed with the lighting has always been a favorite thing of mine. When I did my vampire artwork 10 years ago, some of you may not know that I had a very successful career with my vampire art and I had licensing deals all around the world, selling posters and things like that. And the main trick to my photography lighting was using smoke. I would use smoke in every fucking scene if I could and I think that's what I will be doing in my video clips because it looks dope as fuck. You get that really vibrant color and the smoke is actually what gives the color of the lighting um, life. And of course the movement adds a little bit of eeriness as well. So I absolutely love that. Um, so I've got a great cinematographer, now a lighting design guy on, and of course my creativity that's in my brain, which will seep out and go with the songs that I've written. So it's really fucking exciting. And it's coming together completely effortlessly, which I really like as well. It's almost like I manifested it. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm gonna put in some snippets tonight of what I'm performing because they're going to be on the album, but I don't really want to release acoustic renditions of the song before the actual song is out. It's a little fucking backwards. That's just how I do shit. So I might put a little like, you know, 10 second snippet in or something like that, but please forgive me if I don't. <laughs> 
Some other exciting news for me this week is that I found out I'm a semi-finalist in the Australian Songwriting Association Awards. I answered three of my songs and all three are in the, the semi-finals so that's a fucking honor. I'm really excited by that. And uh, one of them I shared on my Instagram stories is called Cinderella and it's a really heartfelt song. Um, it was written to myself from like my higher self. We touch a little bit on spirituality and it's just really lovely when I kind of doubt myself. Um, I just listen to that song and it just changes my mood. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> you're going to cry and then I'm going to cry and then we're all going to fucking cry. And it's kind of like that, but with myself, which is super weird. I look forward to sharing those songs with you and I will let you know if I win. How cool would that be? <laughs> so I mentioned the update briefly on the Danny Divine sample when we're up at the bar. I will be sharing more photos as soon as I have them. I know that today they started the wallet and I've seen the patterns and everything. They're literally sewing it as we speak, I imagine. And I also saw photos of my little logo that will be put on my handbags. This took like 45 days to make. I don't know why it takes so fucking long. But anyway, it looks amazing and you know, all the high ends, all my favorite bags have this little logo on it. Cost wise, it was fucking expensive to make, but it's a little extra thing. And to me, it's like a little milestone that my business, you know, is slowly creeping up there and I'm able to add these little additional things to my products. So yeah, I hope you like that. So talking about spirituality briefly, I've been listening to a hell of a lot of Abraham Hicks. It's not kind of like I have phases with Abraham Hicks. It's like a daily thing for me. If I'm doing anything where it doesn't require my complete attention, I will put that on and just listen to it. And I just find it helps me raise my energy levels and my spirits. And a really good point in one of the most recent videos I watched is to see the best in someone. And it's such a common saying, but we don't do it, hey. And um, I'm sure you have someone in your life that just pisses you the fuck off, right? And you see that about that person. You know, you're like, oh, this is that person that pisses me off. Uh, yeah, you do that thing. And oh, look, you're doing it fucking now. You're always reminded um, that this person annoys you. And that's, that becomes like their thing. You can't see them in any of the light. So what I found very interesting is to like switch that paradigm and go, okay, I'm gonna break outside of myself for a moment and try to see this person in a different light. Ignore, just outright fucking ignore the stuff that pisses you off that they do and just see something else. You know, can, can you switch it? I'm really into polarity and seeing like the opposite side of the coin. I would say two years ago, I went through a spiritual awakening and I'm very open in mentioning that it was linked with a sexual awakening as well. And since then, I've been very interested in polarity and the masculine and feminine. And I just see it in everything. And this was just another beautiful example of that where it's like you're choosing to see the worst in that person. What happens if you switch it and don't see that anymore? Does it poof, like magic just disappear? So I'm gonna try that this week. Let me know if you've got someone that you can try that with as well and let me know if things change. So I did wanna do a little section on what I'm wearing tonight, but funny fucking story. I was so excited that I bought the Honey Burdette latex tights. I know, right? <laughs> I'm proud of a fucking claws. I only wore them twice and I hadn't even done a video or photo with them yet and I fucking broke them. It was probably my own fault because I slipped my hand into them with a ring and then, you know, boom, suddenly you can see my ass crack. Fabulous ass. But I, instead of this is where abraham hicks comes in instead of being so disappointed which obviously i was i went straight to i'm really glad that didn't happen when i'm on stage tonight right <laughs> and i think that's my call to finish the fuck up because the songwriting event is just about to start here so i better round up so i can get started so to quickly finish up on my jacket this is from killstar but i've added some extra spikes to it and i've got my um beloved typo negative pin on there as well the top is actually Killstar as well. I really like this Victorian style top. And now I got some PVC tights on by lip service because the other ones broke. But <laughs> I'm so excited about those pants. All right, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's podcast. I hope you've enjoyed the slightly different environment. If you are ever passing through Tamworth, make sure you check out the press and come in and get a beautiful drink. Set some shit on fire. Mm. I'm going to get another one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Just before we go, I wanted to show you this video footage that I recently was sent from my manufacturer on my ring. <sighs> God damn. Really happy with the red. Really happy with the finish. I may need a second sample. Um, they've sent me this one, so I just have to wait to see it in person to check if I'm entirely happy with it. This is the size 7 sterling silver version. Um, yeah, and that is... Uh, 
really beautiful close-up isn't it of the oh look at the gem i'm just in love with it as soon as it arrives i'll obviously do a launch video on this bad girl and just one more thing before we go i ended up winning the songwriting competition that night which was really lovely so i'm just going to put in a little snippet of me performing and yeah i'll see you in the next video please make sure you subscribe and i hope you're safe and well see you guys soon